Good afternoon, New Life Church, and welcome to our track devotional for Tuesday, October the 4th. Well, this past week, we've been reading through the book of Joshua. And in the chapters, we've read about wars that were waged and won. We read about kings that were defeated. As a matter of fact, in chapter 13, there's a whole list of kings that were defeated. We read about land that was parceled out and given out to the different tribes. So there was a lot that was happening in these chapters, and in these accounts. But this past week in our reading, there was one section that really hit home to me. One that was like that aha moment that I had. And that's found in chapter 14. And it's in an account about a guy by the name of Caleb. Now you may remember Caleb because he is found back a few books earlier in the book of Numbers. Caleb and Joshua were part of the 12 spies that were sent by Moses to go into the promised land and check out the land. They were to go in and come back with a report on what they saw and what they experienced in the promised land. Well, 10 of the 12 came back and said, "Uh uh-uh, no way, we can't do this. Too big, too hard, too many things happening. We can't do this. Do you know that there are giants in the land and we just can't do this? However, Caleb and Joshua had a totally different report. They said, you know what? Yeah, there are giants. Yes, there are obstacles. But yes, we serve a bigger God than the giants and the obstacles. We can do this. We can go in and take the land. However, the Israelites did not listen to Caleb and to Joshua, and therefore God had consequences for their disbelief. However, when we read in Numbers, we read that Caleb was given a promise by God. And it says in chapter 14, it says, but my servant Caleb has a different attitude than the others. And that hit me. I'm like, a different attitude? Hmm. So I hung on to that. And then it continues to say, he has remained loyal to me. So I will bring him into the land he explored. His descendants will possess their full share of the land. So Caleb is described as being loyal and having a different attitude than the rest. Well, now we jump over to Joshua chapter 14 and we read about Caleb again. And this time Caleb's coming forward and he's saying, hey, I want the land that God promised to me. And it says in verse eight, but my brothers who went with me were frightened. The people frightened the people from entering the promised land. For my part, I wholeheartedly followed the Lord our God. I wholeheartedly followed him. And then down towards the end of the chapter, it says, so Joshua blessed Caleb. And then it goes on to say, because he wholeheartedly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. You know, so many times we talk about the faithfulness of God. And yes, God is faithful. And yes, we stand on that that promise that he is faithful. And we also stand on the very promises of God. We stand on those things that he has told us that he will fulfill. And we trust him for that. And yes, we should. We should trust his faithfulness. We should trust his promises. But there's another part to this story. Caleb wholeheartedly followed God. He was loyal to God. He had the right attitude towards all that was going on around him. And do you know, do you realize that it was 45 years that he waited for this promise to be fulfilled? It wasn't like it was the next year or it wasn't like it was 10 years down the road. He waited 45 years. So as I'm putting these pieces together, he remained faithful to God for 45 years waiting for this promise to be fulfilled. I don't know about you, but I am sure that if it was me, I would have had some doubts. In a 45 year span of time, I would have been like, God, where are you? Um, I'm not sure I can keep going on with this. I'm not sure that I can trust you anymore. You haven't fulfilled your promise yet. Maybe I would have given up. I don't know how I would have reacted. But I do read that Caleb was faithful to God. He continued to follow God wholeheartedly. He didn't get upset because, you know, here's Joshua. Joshua was, was the other part of the team that had the good report. Joshua is now in charge of the Israelites. Joshua is winning battles. Joshua's got it all going for him, it seems like. And Caleb's waiting for a promise. He could have been like, whoa, what's up with this? You know, Joshua, look at what Joshua's doing and the promises that, that are happening in Joshua's life. But what about me? But he didn't. He wholeheartedly followed after God, no matter how long it took. And I want to challenge you and I want to challenge me to wholeheartedly follow after God. I don't know what's going on in your life right now. I don't know the obstacles you are facing. I don't know the promises that you are waiting on. But I want to challenge you 
just as God is faithful to you, just as God fulfills his promises to you, that you remain faithful to God that I remain faithful to God, that we don't give up, that we don't stop in the journey, but we remain faithful, wholeheartedly serving a God who is true to his word, to a God that we know that we can follow after. So I encourage you, church family, remain faithful to God. Have that right attitude. Have that right heart to follow hard after him. Well, New Life Church, know that we love you, we care about you, and that we are here for you. Have a wonderful week as we continue to read through the book of Joshua.